Good evening. Welcome to SSTV News. I am Xiao Qiao. Let's take a close look at the news focus today. The steel structure frame of the Haiko International Duty Free City Business Center was capped. Flight and passage of volume in Hainan quickly recovered and set new highs. The China Europe trains at Kargil's reached 4,727 journeys and 6.62 tons of cargo in 2020. In recent days, the steel structure frame of the Haiko International Duty Free City Business Center has been successfully capped and expected to be put into operation on June 30, 2022. After completion, it will be the largest duty free mall in Asia. The center started construction of the steel structure frame on October the first, 2020. Since then, 537 construction workers have put all their efforts to catch up with the progress and overcome many difficulties. It took 91 days to complete the installation of more than 20,000 steel items and successfully achieve the steel structure capping. In January, we need to finish the construction of 130,000 square meters of floor. After the Spring Festival, the task is even more arduous. In 2021, we will have about 3,000 workers in our construction sites, and we will work hard for the opening of the center in 2022. The Haiko International Duty Free City project covers an area of about 45 hectares, with a total planning construction area of about 926,000 square meters, which is composed of six floors. In addition to the duty free business center, other parts of the project will also start construction within this year. The construction work of apartment buildings, residential buildings, hotels, and office buildings will start in 2021, one after another. The total construction area of the duty-free business center is 290,000 square meters, and its business area is twice that of the Sanya duty-free city. After it is put into use on June the 30th, 2022, it will become a large-scale international duty-free business complex, forming a multi-business system with duty-free business as the core, covering tax retail, cultural entertainment, business offices, catering, and accommodation. In 2020, 240,000 flights were operated in Haiko Meilan International Airport. Sanya Phoenix International Airport and Qinghai Boao Airport, with 32.47 million passengers throughout the year. In 2020, when the COVID-19 epidemic hit, Haiko Meilan International Airport, Sanya Phoenix International Airport, and Boao Qinghai Airport successfully completed the transportation of epidemic prevention materials, the return of medical teams from Wuhan, Hubei Province. Stranded passengers and chartered flights. The three airports have taken multiple measures to quickly resume transportation and production. The flights at Haiko Meilan International Airport achieved positive growth per month in the fourth quarter of 2020. The production and transportation recovery is in the national middle upper level and superior to that of the civil aviation. The passenger throughput at Sanya Phoenix Airport rose up 16.1 percent in September, ranking the fastest in the recovery of all the airports, which reached 10 million throughput. There were 5,043 flights operated securely at Boao Airport through 2020, up 7.6 percent from a year earlier, with a breakthrough in the passenger throughput of 562,000 million. An increase of 0.64 percent from a year earlier, it became one of the few domestic airports to achieve positive growth under the influence of COVID-19. In 2020, the three airports actively expanded the route network, especially between Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, and Shenzhen. Wide-body aircrafts have been also added to drive the recovery of the aviation market. Moreover. Since the implementation of Hainan's new duty-free policy on July the first, 
by December the 24th, 2020, the total sales volume of the four offshore duty-free stores in Hainan has reached 22.45 billion yuan, including tax, with a year-on-year growth of 226%. In order to meet the diversified consumption demands of passengers, Milan Airport has introduced more than 100 brands in its newly built Terminal 2 with a duty-free commercial area of about 10,000 square meters. The duty-free shop at Phoenix Airport was officially opened on December the 30th, 2020. Adopting the mode of buy now, pick up now, hence the duty-free shopping is more convenient, further enriching and optimizing the shopping experience of passengers. In the new year, the three airports in Hainan will continue to improve the comprehensive security level, and the quantity and quality of airline routes, making new contributions to the construction of the Hainan Free Trade Port. 为海南自由贸易港建设建新工谱先篇。Recently, the first robot-assisted total knee arthroplasty in China was completed in Bu'ao Lecheng. SSTV has more details. The patient who underwent the operation was Mr. Wu, 57, from Hainan. The highlight of the operation is the precise placement of the biological prosthesis into the patient with the assistance of Michael. An intelligent orthopedic robot. It was extremely difficult surgery. This surgery is the first of its kind in China. The robot is very accurate in operation. The knee arthroplasty required a very flat surface, and the prosthesis did not generate any critical situation after it was replaced. For the customs clearance and introduction of intelligent robot devices as well as new biological prosthesis, Customs Medical Products Administration and Health Commission of Hainan Province all have provided rapid approval channels and security guarantees. In addition, the National Orthopedics and Sports Rehabilitation Clinical Medical Research Center will build an orthopedic innovation and promotion platform in the Bu'ao Super Hospital for introducing, absorbing, and innovating the most advanced orthopedic technology in the world to better serve Chinese orthopedic patients. With the pilot policies at Lecheng and the highly proficient local government, we are confident that. We are able to quickly introduce more advanced medical products into China. So this time, we have invested a lot of human and material resources to ensure the success. So this time, we have invested a lot of human and material resources to ensure the success of the operation. We have made great progress in the orthopedics department. In the orthopedics department, we have made great progress in the orthopedics department. In the orthopedics department, we have made great progress in the orthopedics department. In the orthopedics department, we have made great progress in the orthopedics department. In the orthopedics department, we have made great progress in the orthopedics department. In the orthopedics department, we have made great progress in the orthopedics department. Officially opened and was put into operation. Let's have a look. With an area of about more than 33.3 hectares, the park has preserved more than 1,000 kinds of rare tropical plants and other organisms. It is the gathering place for scientific research institutions and higher education, as well as the headquarters of National Tropical Agricultural Science Center. The opening of this exposition park means a lot to us. We can gain a vivid understanding of knowledge through the park instead of reading it in books. The exposition park aims to give full play to its advantages in regional resources and build a three A level tourist scenic spot, integrating sci tech innovation, achievement display, agricultural science popularization, plant sightseeing. Leisure experience, research and training, as well as international exchange. In the next step, we will continue to create a series of high-quality courses in natural rubber, soil, and tropical ocean. I believe it will provide a better learning opportunity for our primary and middle school students. On January 1st, a China-Europe train slowly departed from Korgos Railway Port Station, starting a fresh journey in 2021.
In 2020, there were 21 China-Europe trains entering and leaving China via the Kogo Port Station, with a total of 4,727 trains and 6.62 million tons of cargo, an increase of 43% and 58% year-on-year, respectively. 2020, in 2020, In 2020, the China-Europe train at the Kogo's railway port set a new record for train transportation. Now there are 15 trains leaving and 8 trains entering China every day. At present, we are expanding the station yard. We will add seven arrival and departure lines and one pair of reloading lines. The transportation capacity of China-Europe trains is expected to increase by more than 30 percent. And its expected release time of trains is reduced from the original 3.5 hours to one hour, which has greatly improved the logistics efficiency. During the 13 five-year plan period, with the unique geographic advantages of crossing the Eurasian continent, China-Europe Express trains have rapidly improved their traffic volume and cargo delivery volume. Since the first China-Europe Central Asia train has launched in 2016, the volume of trains at Kogo's railway port station has increased year by year. The number of lines opened and the quality of international intermodal transport services and transportation efficiency have steadily improved. As of December the 31st, 2020. An accumulated total of 11,396 Central Europe Central Asia trains with 15.98 million tons of cargo have commuted via Kogo's port. On January 1st, the Malaysia government announced that the nationwide controls will be extended to March 31st. The Defence Minister Ismail Sabri, who is responsible for coordinating epidemic prevention and control measures, said on the same day that the recovery movement control order was originally scheduled to expire on December 31 last year, but after a risk assessment by the health department, the government decided to extend it from January 1 to March 31 to curb the spread of the epidemic. During this period, gatherings non-supportive of social distance are forbidden. Bars, nightclubs, and other places are prohibited from operating. According to the epidemic data released by the Ministry of Health of Malaysia on January the first, the country has had 2,068 new cases in the past 24 hours, which is the second highest figure since the 2,525 new cases reported the previous day. As of noon that day, an accumulated total of 115,078 cases have been diagnosed nationwide, with 474 deaths and 91,171 cases recovered from hospitals. As we come to the end of this broadcast, let's enjoy the beautiful scenery of Hainan. That's all for today's news. Thank you for watching. Good night.